Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. centre ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and as you can imagine on this occasion the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Well, the short corner routine. Really, the ideal clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he read it well. Vinicius Junior. Richarlison. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. It's still alive. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Ronaldo. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Incisive pass. Now the task is to remain focused. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. 
Well, as the replay shows us, Fernandez picks out the pass to beat that defensive line. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. the challenge that was required oh that's a fine pass Vinicius it's a perfect challenge Cristiano Ronaldo on the ball Ruben Dias Oh, they've lost it. It's looking promising. And that's a well-timed pass. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Bruno Fernandes. Chance to do damage. Giving it a try. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. It's a short corner. Paqueta. Able to get a body in the way. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And this to reduce the deficit. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here it is again, and what a good penalty it was. Into that top corner. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about that, even though he went the right way. Well, they get the ball rolling again, with Brazil believing again. Bernardo Silva. Dallo. The cross is on. A foul, but advantage played. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Chances on. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Another look then at the penalty goal. Well, it's been difficult for the Portuguese to get hold of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, yeah, so and maybe another break brewing here. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And that is going to be a free kick. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Bernardo Silva. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Rafinha, Neymar, he has teammates around him, oh in with a chance, and foiled only by the crossbar, well nothing untoward happened, well they were so close to the equaliser there, oh it's... wait a minute Stewart, look what's happening, well flinging himself up the ball, The corner played into the box, not troubling the keeper. Casemiro. And Neymar. And unable to keep possession. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Ronaldo. Takes it on. 
Nicely cut out. Oh, could be. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Second half is underway. Brazil behind. Can they turn this match on its head? Clean challenge. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Well, that'll be a free kick. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Guerrero's cross was always going to be threatening, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So back underway at 3-1. Far from a good pass. Paqueta. Paqueta. Sloppy in possession from Brazil. Casemiro. And return to Vinicius. Richarlison. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. Guerrero. Joao Felix. And Ronaldo with others in the vicinity. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And Ronaldo's shot is then hit with such power. He's a top-class player when he gets into those areas. So the action underway again here, with Portugal very much in control. Very quick thinking there. Richarlison. Now Brazil could be onto something. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Favouring the short one. Vinicius Jr. And struggling to get the shot off. Well, it might still work out for them. And problem solved for now. An effective challenge. Lucas Paqueta. Casimiro. Now with Neymar. 
And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Joao Felix. Can they hit on the break? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Thiago Silva. Neymar. Vinicius. Played into the centre. Just needs to get it out of there. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. And into the last 15 minutes of action. But he's on. Just the challenge that was required. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Good-looking sequence. Richarlison. Oh, that's a fine save. Guerrero. Ronaldo. Opportunity it is. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And he stopped them in their tracks. Casemiro and a chance for him on the flank Casemiro well he knew he had to get to the ball and he did simple catch really five minutes left and that pass could be troublesome Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Vinicius Junior. Fred is with Vinicius Junior. Richarlison couldn't grab hold of it. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Space afforded him. It's looking promising. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.